and in our sponsored segment, the rags to riches story of iCity founder. How self-made entrepreneur Tansui Lin Kim Hong carved his way up from just a carpenter to becoming a real estate mogul. After the break, an exclusive interview with Tansui Lin Kim Hong of iBurhad. City in Shah Alam, also known as the City of Lights, is now on its way to becoming an ultra-polis development with residential, commercial and leisure offerings all in one spot. Now that started with the vision and drive of one man, a self-made entrepreneur with humble beginnings who started earning his living as a carpenter. What started as a dense, undeveloped plantation land in Shah Alam is now a property hotspot, a tourism destination, and on its way towards becoming an ultra-police by the year 2020. ICT has been credited as a catalyst towards the transformation of Shah Alam, and behind it all is the vision of one man. And I'm here to have a chat with the man himself, Tan Sri Lim Kim Hong. ICT is now a 9 billion ringgit ultra police development. However, it all started from a true rags to riches story of its founder, Tan Sri Lim Kim Hong, who was born to a poor family, the youngest of 10 children. Financial constraints forced him to drop out of school after standard 6 and start work as a carpenter. But it was there, while trying to earn a living, he started honing his skills as an entrepreneur. I am working very early at 14 years old. And then is that I am not trading by the school, I am trading by the society, talking about entrepreneur. The idea is to not limit. Uh, everything can happen. Uh, plus, Malaysia, the time is encouraged the entrepreneur. Lim made his first million selling woodwork, but it didn't stop there. He since then explored opportunities in various other businesses, but was better known as the Mattress King, being the founder of Dreamland Malaysia, which he later cashed out his 55% stake in 1995 for 350 million ringgit. Tansu, you started your, your business at a very young age. You were delving into furniture, into mattresses, stainless steel. And how did you actually make the decision to go into the property sector at that time? In my 18 years old, I had a first million already mm -hmm. ah, at the time. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I start work from Moa to Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. To Kuala Lumpur, I see a lot of opportunity already. 1995, I explore my company. The time I get the 350 million, say, oh, this time is coming. I want to the, build a, run a city in Kuala Lumpur, in property. How did the idea came out? And I can't concept come from this uh, cyber center. First, the time we talk about cyber center in Cyber Jaya, I think quite far away. Okay. The time. And then after Motivusa encouraged us, and then I set up the, this uh, cyber center. Set the cyber, cyber center, the time is still quite slow. Same the time our Malaysian government promote the tourism. Uh, I come out the uh, LED light. Because LED light and the cyber center, they are almost linked together, technology. And then I buy the 10 million, the, the, the lighting just put in the this land. And then but between you know, one or two weeks, oh, LED night, the people come to uh, see the LED light. Uh, the time, the concept, uh, tourism, all the comic. Uh, the time, I come out the next plan. How to the New York architect help me build the tall building. As a self-made entrepreneur, Lim believes that experience, good and bad, had shaped his foundation as an entrepreneur. If you don't have the capital, I still encourage. I go to industry, have a work, uh, technical. Because come from you learn the technical, I think the foundation for you, rule of anything, is very good. And you can learn a lot, support your mind, give you future, how do you think? Until now, Although I involved in property, I still recall my young time, learn from the furniture, how to build the furniture, and then connect how to build the house. 
pull out the return of thinking, I think I actually want to success. Maybe you want to take the more time. Uh, because my young time had this kind of thinking and it's helping me a lot. Azrul Amila Amir for Ringgit Sense. That's all the time we have for tonight, I'm afraid. But don't forget to join us again next week, same time and day. I'm Manita Wu, signing off.